Hey, what's happening guys? Elton here. So this drawing, or what started as a drawing and has ended up as a painting, is finally done. And uh, I thought to myself, I better make a, a preparation so I don't forget to show you guys what this looked like in September of last year. And then unfortunately after that, the 21st, when I filmed this video, I didn't work on it again for several reasons. I was on medication because of the pericarditis. I was often feeling tired or dizzy. Then, of course, we went back an hour, and when you have a small old apartment like this, it's just typical Nice and Montreal, uh, it's kind of hard to find adequate lighting. So that's one of the reasons why I moved here into the living room, because it's a little bit brighter than the office, and there's more, as you can see, sunlight coming in through the window mid or late afternoon, and now it's like, uh, I don't know, about it's closer to 3.15. But here she is. She's finally done. She's finally done. Pretty much... If I look at everything and everything looks satisfactory, I hate that about the light compensation. You know, I'm trying to get a, a view of this thing so there's not so much brightness on it. But there you go. Yeah, I crimpled her up there on the bottom because the edge of the table, you know, it doesn't matter anyway because it's already got all those waves in it. So maybe I'll stop this and see if I can put this in a better place to show it actually. Hang on. Yeah, I think that's a bit more better in terms of controlled lighting, even though unfortunately you really see all those waves more. But you know what? Again, like I said, I think if it's, this is, would be properly framed, or I think what I'll do is when it's like when the paint's all really completely dry, I'm going to put a shitload of books over it. Hopefully that'll flatten out over time. And um, yeah, so let me tell you what I did. Okay, so basically everything you see got painted over again. I had a second or even third coat put on. So second coat of paint on the, the street, which is Sherbrooke. And then I added, of course, this uh, this tower, which is part of a church, which has a cross on top of it. This was repainted, this too. The Metro sign, I did the best perfection I could with it. Um, of course, I had to fix up the Cadillac name. Uh, the windows look way better than before. You have that right reflective looking of the sky, you know, of a dusk or sunset type of uh, scene. Then there's this girl that I had drawn here and I kind of painted half over. Um, let me just see if it's better like this, actually. At least I could sit down. And, uh, yeah, well, it's not great, but whatever. Cadillac got a lot of work. I had a lot of fun, actually. This is where I had the most fun was perfecting this, the, the tire. Uh, I even made the center of the wheel cover dark green like the body. The body got another, like, I think third coat of paint. Uh, this I added the El Dorado. Worked on the tail lights, the Quebec 76 plate. They were white and red like that. Interior got some work. Uh, all the chrome. Uh, the guy driving there. And you know, I even actually, I didn't like the fact that I did what looked like I did the wheel too big. So uh, what I did is that I uh, I made the wheel well a bit smaller like before like you would see like the edge was here so I painted that over and made it a bit smaller and um, yeah I'm, I'm quite satisfied with the way this looks again I wanted to get this done because we are now in the strangest and uh, unprecedented times and uh, yeah, I think it's important in life to finish what you start and as I said it before and I'll say it again I'm not one of these people who has like two three four projects going on at the same time there's a lot of people like that because I find I get stressed about something I don't, uh, I don't, I don't finish. You know, like this, I let this go on for months and months, and uh, you know, for like almost six months, I didn't work on it. I think, so I was glad to, uh, to finish it. But again, I learned my lesson. The next time I do a painting, it'll be like that, or the Christine here on a canvas, not on a piece of paper. It's not made for that, even though it looks really cool, uh, and I'm very happy with it. Uh, still, you know, it's it, it. There was a lot of it's not made for paint, so there was a lot of stuff I had to paint over and paint over. Even this, the walls of the the station here, I just redid that like a, a second coat of paint. It's not even the right color, but I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna fucking stop because or I'm gonna I'm gonna just rip my hair out trying to get this thing to look, uh, you know, the way I want it to. So, um, but again, I'm very satisfied with this. This was originally orange. I'd colored it, but it was all faded. It looked like shit. So I said, you know what? I tried to mix some red and orange, but came out more red but I'm like whatever I found an old picture and I think that's what color it was before and just to show you what it looks like on it on the back side here's the back side and uh, it's signed oh by the way that reminds me um, I found some chrome foil to do my next uh, 
to do my next project there, my um, uh, Boeing 747. I want to do an American Airlines plane. And uh, if anybody has any bare metal foil uh, that you could send me, uh, would you leave me a message, please? And I'll give you my address because I would really need that. Because if you know Montreal and you know you where your disco is on the Decarry, and I don't have a car, I'm visually impaired. I'm not taking a fucking half hour metro ride to go over there to buy foil. It's just it's too risky. So worst case scenario, I'll paint the whole plane silver, but I don't want to do that. I want to make it like a really like kind of like a chrome look to it, you know. So I'm really happy for this to be done. Oh yeah, another thing I forgot to mention, even the door here. Uh, I decided to go with silver paint, even though this is more chrome type of, like it's like a, a stainless. Yeah, it's a stainless. But I'm like, well, whatever, I'll use the silver paint. And uh, geez, even this metro sign, I don't know how many times I must have touched this up, I'm telling you. But I'm very satisfied with it. And again, uh, just to uh, reiterate, as I showed in my last, last segment to this, <clears throat> this was close to an original optional color in 76, 77 on GM cars. So I was, I was really keen on doing that. It's not because St. Patrick's Day went by, and it's not because I'm part Irish. So, anyway, you guys love what I do, and uh, you want to show your love, even though whew, probably reaching, asking at this time, uh, this time of uh, this time of history, point in history. But um, check me out on Patreon if you want to be uh, uh, like one of my uh, supporters. Um, uh, my name again is Elton McFall, Elton like Elton John McFall. And, uh, or if you want to send me a little gratuity via PayPal or e-transfer, you're welcome to using my email, which is eltonmcfall at hotmail.com. And I thank you guys all for watching, and I always enjoy your great comments. And I, I try to always keep up with the comments, but it's, it's, it's hard. I get so many comments. And actually, the stupid thing about YouTube I find, I, mean, I think I feel like fucking sending them a complaint, is that I only get notified by email for some comments, but a lot of them I don't. So it's, uh, I don't understand why. I think their servers are too, too busy or something, too occupied. I don't know. But uh, anyway, so that's it for that. And uh, one more thing. I think I've thought, you know, I'd like to do another one of these, but obviously as a painting, because now I've done this and I've done a, a, another drawing uh, in this size, this paper of uh, the last one I did was La Salle Metro Station. Uh, but, and I thought, you know, the next one I would do, I have to say, again, it would be on the green line. I have to say it would be Prefontaine. Because it's so weird. It's such a weird but an amazing design. Even maybe more so on the inside. So thanks for watching guys. Take care. Stay good. And uh, above all, stay safe. And please try to stay at home if you can. Not too, of course, uh, so other people don't get infected so much. Hey, you want to buy a vintage railroad answer? Yep. Okay, bye.